Black Pole, Jake and Cody. I'm still Jake. That's Cody. Today we're going to run through how to install our telescopic flag pole. So Cody is actually holding our 20 foot wood grain pole, an exclusive of Concords. And on the ground here, we have, you, know, you can't see it, but this is our camouflage pole. And we're going to install the ground sleeve. Yeah, Cody, oh, yeah, you can see it good. And it's about 9 o'clock here in Texas, so that means it's like 103 right now. So we're going to get started pretty quick so we can try to wrap it up before we, you know, sweat out. Yeah. All right, let's get started. All right, Jake, the first step we're gonna need is our instructions right here. Let's go over this together. Step one, read instructions completely before starting. Well, we're well on our way. Check. Step two, select the proper location for your flagpole. Hey, the shovel's in a pretty good spot. Let's, Let's use this. It's a conveniently located shovel. Step three, dig a hole 12 inches in diameter and 26 inches deep in firm or heavy soil. Seems pretty firm to me. Yep. Uh, step three seems like a Jake kind of job, so uh, I'll leave it to you. Let's get started. <laughs> Jake, looks like we got our hole here. Yep, we got it deep enough. We're at 26 inches, so yeah, pretty far down. All right, looks like we're on to our next step. Yeah, step so four. Step four, putting in the gravel. So we need to do about four inches of gravel so we can allow it to sleep with some drainage. So let's get started. Do it now. Right where we need to be. All right, four inches, perfect. Okay, so next step, the ground sleeve. When you open this out, you're actually gonna see that we have this bolt taped on here. So what you'll wanna do is remove the tape and take the bolt off and apply it through this through hole here that we've actually got pre-drilled inside the ground sleeve. So what that bolt does is it allows the telescopic flag pole to sit above where that peat gravel is and where we're going to have that concrete. So it gives that little extra level of drainage and that separation from the peat and the concrete we're going to pour. Perfect. So we'll just put that in and we have a little wrench since we're nylon. Yep. Perfect. So now it's important, this really doesn't have to be all the way down because we're really just having it hold something in place. It's not uh, structural in any way. Yeah, no structure to it as long as that it's in there and it's, yep. you don't want to uh, over tighten over -tighten that right. ground seat because you can end up pinching it a little bit. Perfect. So I think we've got it good there. Yep. Take this bad boy off. All right. So the next step, we need to make sure that this is going to be set level. So now that we've got our ground sleeve actually in the hole, we actually brought a little level for us to help us get our ground sleeve level because this is basically going to determine how straight our pole is. So yeah, we'll any do... slight deviation, you have to remember, keeps going up. So a little bit off can make the top of your flagpole almost like a foot off center. Right. So what we'll do is just set this up top, and you can see where the dot is. So our idea here, look at that. Right there. It's going to get better than that. Perfect. All right, so we're gonna leave this gentle, take that off. Time for concrete. Let's pour some concrete. Let's do it. All right, Jake, now that we got our hole here that you so expertly dug in this Texas heat and found your spirit animal in the bushes back there, yeah. let's move on to the next step. <laughs> we got to pour that concrete. Now we follow the directions that is on this concrete. Jake, go ahead. Yeah, so because we're using a smaller pole, um, we're going to use a quick set concrete. So basically, I just need to pour in dry concrete in and then fill with water to let it set. Um, should be pretty quick, easy, and it's, again, it's okay to do on some small poles like our telescopics. So let's get started. Still good. Good, looks level. All right, so now we've got concrete poured. We know our sleeve is level. We fill with water. So our instructions and bags for this quick set stuff is basically to fill it until it's fully hydrated and has a little lip, and so we'll let it go. Lucky 
few buckets of water. Texas water. Texas water. <laughs> settle, kind of let it get to the bottom and all the crevices of the hole, um, and once we see it drain away, we'll refill, and we really should only need probably one of these buckets of water. We brought two just, just in case. case. Yeah. We're still staying level here because the entire time he was pouring that rough concrete, I held it there for him, so now it should stay perfect. We're going to keep it on top just in case. All right, our concrete is set. Everything's ready to go for us to install this plank. Yeah, and so you might be able to see it here. There's actually a small clamp that's actually included with these ground sleeve components. And what's intended to do is slide over the sleeve and clamp down around the pole so you're mitigating any additional water that could leak in. Um, but yeah, so all you need to do now is once that's on, slide your pole into the ground sleeve, center in. If Cody can hold that flag up. It's always good to have an assistant just so your flag does not touch the ground. And you'll start with the top section first and raise until you get to the bottom. You'll interlock each hook and start with the next section. And that's the major difference between Concord telescoping pole is the interlocking metal hook system. Uh, it's much more durable and holds together much stronger than the compression sleeve or the push button components you'll see. They can also be pretty difficult to operate when they've been out exposed to the elements for a while because you'll get corrosion and sometimes it just won't come down. And we don't have that problem. No, and actually, now that we've got it up, it looks awesome. I really like this wood grain, actually, in the sun. Yep. Um, but they're just as easy to take down. So what I'll do is just kind of gently raise and twist, and then I can actually just let it go because of the air bladder system, right, Cody? Yeah. Unlike our competitors where you can have damage to your pole when it comes down, each one of these sections has a foam little puck in there, and that's what allows it to slide down and not cause any damage or direct metal-to-metal -metal contact. Get the flag for it. All right, I'm going to bring some down there. Just like that. Just like that. From flagpole up to flagpole down. The hard part is over. So now that we showed you how to install the pole, we also want to show you how easy it is to swap out poles. Maybe if you wanted a different finish or a different height. So I'm actually holding our clear anodized 20 foot pole. We're actually going to show you how to put that in as well. Whoa, okay. Did you not see the Concord American flagpole camel? Oh, hey, yeah. One of a right kind, here. just like our wood grain. I'll get this out of your way. I'm going to hold on to it so it doesn't disappear into the woods. Yeah, good idea. But yeah, just like we do with the other pole, you slide it into the ground sleeve. And you're good to go. Slap a flag on this bad boy, raise it up, everything's good. That's all there is to it. So thanks for watching our install video. Uh, I'm still Jake. That's Cody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. Jake, I'm Cody. See you next time.